Everybody, welcome into the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com. We're going to be talking about Saturday morning's final game for the United States in the preliminary round, Group C, where they will look to finish off a perfect run against Puerto Rico in a game that they're favored by 34 and a half points in. So we're going to talk a lot of props and give you a little bit of a rundown on how things have been going out in Lille. And uh, obviously the U.S. will play in the knockout stages, the quarterfinals, a uh, point yet to be determined, although they'll know this by the time this game tips off, um, who potentially will be the uh, opponent. And uh, the following game after this one is South Sudan and Serbia. And those two are playing for second place and potentially to be the top or one of the top third place finishers. Uh, big goings or news out of uh, this tournament in uh, Friday's action saw Greece, and hopefully you got in on that free pick video, uh, defeat uh, the Aussies. And then Australia was the beneficiary of Canada's 88 to 85 comeback win, which eliminated Spain. Greece and Spain ended up with an identical uh, point differential, but uh, Greece wins the tiebreaker. So Congratulations to Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Greeks who uh, you know, defied odds in terms of going into that final game against the Aussies uh, winless and still were able to reach the uh, knockout stages. And we'll see if they're, they're the United States uh, opponent when action tips off midweek in Paris. As for this one, it's uh, the Puerto Ricans. They've already been eliminated. Uh, had a very disappointing uh, stretch here over the last six quarters uh, because the first half of uh, their Olympic tournament was a dream. And I watched that game because that's what I do. I watch games and then uh, use that to handicap. Some people don't do that. Some people just rely on numbers, more power to them because it works for them. It works for me to watch. And uh, especially since basketball is my favorite sport, I watched Jose Alvarado absolutely have a dominant half against South Sudan uh, and then turn his ankle severely in the second quarter of that game uh, and they had control of that contest against the South Sudan squad that uh, was fresh on everybody's mind considering that they had pushed the United States to a 101-100 result just a few days prior so Puerto Rico really put an impressive first half together and Alvarado was dynamic I mean, he looked like CJ McCollum out there knocking down mid-range jumpers and leading the offense and being great and then he suffered his ankle injury, and it really looked like an ankle injury that he'd be able to overcome, uh, and he did. He came out in the second half, uh, but just wasn't himself. South Sudan took control of that game, ultimately won it 90 to 79, and then Alvarado did play in the uh, second game against Serbia, which resulted in a 107-66 route as Nikola Jokic was not nice, flirted with a triple-double, came one assist shy, uh, he got a lot of help from uh, all of his friends. And in that second half, the Serbians outscored the Puerto Ricans 55 to 31 to really pull away and drop the hammer. So uh, no no uh, help to the the total and the, and the spread here because of that. And uh, that's why the United States is such a heavy favorite. They opened as a 34 point favorite with a total set at 189 and uh, the Betting public has uh, jumped on the United States. Now that number as of Friday afternoon is 34 and a half, and the total is 189 and a half. And obviously the big news with the United States is neither Jason Tatum nor Tyrese Halliburton played against Serbia in their opener. They played great. They shot great. Kevin Durant came uh, back from his calf issue like uh, he had not missed a, a, more than a couple of months of action. Shot seven for seven in that first half. Uh, absolutely dominant. He comes in to this contest through two games as the leading scorer for the United States in the Olympics, which is absolutely remarkable. Uh, uh, LeBron James is second. Durant is averaging 18 and a half points a game. LeBron 16 and a half. So uh, both of those guys have played great. Uh, Steph Curry has not. Steph Curry has really struggled in his first Olympics, and that's a shame. Uh, but I mean, obviously, we know Curry will uh, eventually get his act together, but he's coming off a one of nine shooting game in which he missed all six of his three-point attempts. 
And that uh, helped South Sudan stay in the game and ultimately cover a spread in a game the United States won 103 to 86. Bam Adebayo was the top player there, leading the team in scoring off the bench and also being one of the top rebounders. Anthony Davis has played great. Joel Embiid sat out last time out. And so in this one, what I think is going to happen in uh, the free play for the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel will be to cover the 34 points. I, I don't see any way that you can back Puerto Rico here. They've got a lot of guys that were born in the United States that play collegiately uh, at the NCAA Division I level. Uh, so they'll, they'll be uh, in this in terms of from a competitive standpoint, but this is an opportunity for the United States and Steve Kerr to play everybody to make sure they all have a rhythm for the knockout stages. I don't think uh, LeBron James or Steph Curry, who uh, have been the unquestioned starters in this uh, event in the lead up and obviously the first two games, will surpass their points, rebounds and assists total. So that's our player prop recommendations are to go under on 18 and a half points, rebounds and assists for Curry and under 24 and a half points, rebounds and assists for LeBron. I just think that they will get their action in both the first and second halves. But ultimately, this is going to be an opportunity for guys like Tatum and Halliburton and Adebayo um, and, and those deeper on the roster to make sure that they've got their act together. Devin Booker has been really good. If you want to take a crack at somebody that's going to surpass their points total. I like Booker. If you can find somebody that books a Halliburton uh, points, rebounds and assists or points total, I think he is going to play a big role. He shot the ball well against South Sudan and uh, is itching to play. He looks as healthy as I've seen him in weeks. So like Tyrese Halliburton, like the United States to dominate this game, the USA team total for this one is 111 and a half. That's a little steep, but uh, they have cracked the century mark in uh, both of their games and keep in mind that these are 40 minute halves uh, pardon me 40 minute uh, games 20 minute halves so uh, we'll see what happens here in terms of the u.s being able to get to 112 to crack that over uh, puerto rico's team total is 77 and a half uh, and again with jose alvarado not 100 percent i just don't see them um doing much here i think the u.s wins something like 109 110 to 71, something like that. So we will ride the uh, US to cover the 34, 34 and a half. Uh, if you want to stay off this game, you know, just enjoy it from your couch, do that too. But I have to give a pick. So that's my job on these videos. And also I'm telling you, let's fade LeBron, let's fade Steph Curry. Other guys will get a chance to play and shine. Joel Embiid will be back in the mix, but I don't know how much time he'll see on the floor. And he's obviously been uh, the least effective of the United States players uh, in this lead up to this tournament, you know, liability on the defensive end and uh, uh, he's being forced fed the ball offensively. So that's where we're at. Uh, make sure to uh, smash that like button for me and subscribe to all of our videos here at Wager Talk TV. We're going to do this uh, for the rest of the Olympics, obviously. And then football has already started. Hall of Fame game got rained out. Uh, so no action there. But uh, football's here, the preseason's here, college football's around the corner, uh, international soccer uh, in full swing, and uh, the WNBA will be back. And we've got a women's basketball video for their big game, Battle of the Meetings in Germany. So be on the lookout for that. I'm handicapping that as well for you guys. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Mejia Dinero. Check out my page at sm.buzz slash TDM, where you can see all my package information. We've got great deals at both Sports Memo and Wager Talk to take advantage of football coming around. Um, so investigate what you like and hop on board. We'll make some money together. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Tony Mejia. Have a wonderful, profitable weekend.